So I have a very interesting clip for you today. Mike Lindell, the president of My Pillow, I think he's president and CEO. He goes on Newsmax, and they were supposed to be discussing the reason why he was removed or suspended from Twitter. But he wants to go into Dominion voting and how the voting machines were corrupt and how Dominion flipped votes for Biden. And some something very interesting happened on Newsmax. Check it out. The uh, company page. Well, first, mine was taken down because we have all the election fraud with these Dominion machines. We have 100 percent proof. And then I when they took it down um, uh, about my, three weeks my, ago, I, and then when I put it back up, my personal, I put it. It was a Mike, thing about uh, thank you very much. Mike, Mike, I, you're talking about machines uh, that, that we at Newsmax have not been able to verify any of uh, yeah, okay. those kinds of allegations. You know we just want to let people know that there's nothing substantive that we've seen. And let me read you something there. While there were some clear evidence of some cases of vote fraud and election irregularities, the election results in every state were certified and Newsmax accepts the results as legal and final. The courts have also supported that view. So right. we so, wanted so to talk to you about right. canceling you culture, you if you will. Me. We don't want to relitigate the, the, like the wait, wait, uh, wait, allegations wait, wait, that you're wait. making, I'm, Mike, I'm, because I'm we, we, the, we understand where you are. So let me ask you this. Do you think Twitter that this should be temporary because it appears to be permanent? Could you make an argument that it is temporary? What? <laughs> could you make an argument that this could be a temporary banning rather than permanent? No, I want it to be a permanent because you know what? They did this because I'm revealing all the evidence on Friday of all the election fraud with these machines. So I'm sorry if you think okay. it's not uh, Mike, it's real. I, I, can I ask our producers, can we uh, get out of here, please? Uh, I, I don't want to have to keep going over this. Actually, we at Newsmax Mike, have not been able wait, to verify wait, any of those wait allegations. Wait, that you're, you're, Mike, okay. hold on you a second. Fast. Everybody hold on a second. Mike, Mike, hold on one second. Uh, let's talk a little bit about just what is happening overall in terms of censorship. Like of trying to cancel out my company and myself okay. in this country. It's cancel culture. So now it's not what happened, but why it's happening. See, Dominion Voting Systems sent out letters to both Newsmax, Sidney Powell, and Rudy Giuliani, explaining that they're defaming the company by saying the company in some way flipped votes from Trump to Biden and that this election fraud thing was something serious and Dominion was behind it. So while both Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani doubled down and now are being sued for $1.3 billion apiece... by Dominion Voting Systems, which most legal scholars will tell you they have a pretty good case. Here's Robert Barnes explaining it about Sidney Powell. Easily provable ones. You know, she you know, claims that Dominion was foreign-owned. False. Claims that Dominion owned Smartmatic. False. Claims that Dominion was involved in the Venezuelan election. False. Claims that Dominion sent information overseas related to the election and election server votes. False. Claims that Dominion servers were seized in Germany. False. Uh, you know, so these, they have she has a bunch of easily provable or Dominion does a bunch of easily provable, factually false statements that they can show a reasonably diligent person would have figured out. So, I mean, she, she, they have her dead to rights on a bunch of claims. Well, Newsmax then took a different tact. They didn't want to get sued for one point three billion dollars, nor did they have any evidence that any of this election nonsense was accurate. So they put out this statement. Since Election Day, uh, various guests, attorneys, and elected officials have appeared on Newsmax and offered opinions and claims about Smartmatic and Dominion Systems, both companies that offer voting software in the U.S. And uh, Newsmax would like to clarify its news coverage and note that it has not reported as true certain claims made about these companies. There are several facts our viewers and readers should be aware of. Newsmax has found no evidence that either Dominion or Smartmatic owns the other or has any business association with each other. We have no evidence that Dominion uses Smartmatic software or vice versa. No evidence has been offered that Dominion or Smartmatic use software or reprogram software that manipulated votes in the 2020 election. Smartmatic has stated that its software was only used in the 2020 election in Los Angeles, was not used in any battleground state contested by the Trump campaign. 
Newsmax has no evidence to the contrary. Dominion has stated the company has no ownership relationship with the Pelosi family, the Feinstein family, the Clinton family, Hugo Chavez, or the government of Venezuela. Neither Dominion nor Smartmatic has any relationship with George Soros. Smartmatic is a U.S. company and not owned by the Venezuelan government, Hugo Chavez, or any foreign official or entity. Smartmatic states that it has no operations in Venezuela, while the company did election projects in Venezuela from 2004 to 2017. It states it was never founded by Hugo Chavez, nor did it have a corrupt relationship with him or the Venezuelan government. For more on this, please go to our website at Newsmax.com. Read facts about Dominion Smartmatic that you should know. So now that you have the My Pillow guy coming back on the air saying these exact same statements that got them in trouble before, they don't want to be sued. So that's why this anchor cut him off and tried to clear the record to let everyone know that everything that he's saying and spewing is actually nothing but nonsense. And they're not able to verify anything that this guy's saying because facts matter and they don't want to get sued. The anchor gets frustrated and leaves. But what do you think? It seems like there are a lot of people who think the election was really stolen, but there's absolutely no evidence that the election was stolen. And Newsmax, Newsmax, as right-leaning, conservative, conspiracy theories junkies they are, they won't even go that far. So I'm actually interested to see what Mike Lindell comes up with Friday because he said he's got all this stuff coming out Friday to show definitive proof that Dominion voting systems committed some type of fraud in the election. I, I definitely want to see it. But my question to you is, do you think Mike Lindell is setting himself up to be sued by Dominion voting systems too? Because if he keeps spouting this nonsense over the airways, I think they may have another $1.3 billion lawsuit on their hands. And the CEO of MyPillow, he may have some deep pockets. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I know this is a quick video. My name is Nate the Lawyer. I'm out.